the use of a physical model can show you how little of the stone is needed for an arch to be stable. The idea comes from an engineer called Barlow in the 1840s. So it's a proper arch, the flat-faced voussoirs, but you see we've put these slats of wood in between them so that the gap stays parallel. Now let's take out one of the... Between each block there are equal and opposite forces and these forces must pass through the wooden slats. They're the only point of contact. Although you can't specify the exact magnitude or direction of these forces. But you can see what's happening. The arch is still perfectly stable. These two faces are staying parallel. That's the face of the abutment and the face of the voussoir. And they're being held apart just by that. Very thin slip of wood. So in fact the thrust has to be there. And lastly we come here and that's loose. That's loose, and we're down to one slip of wood, so that's all the blocks in the arch are being separated just by one slip of wood in each, and that's certainly where the thrust is running. This arrangement of slats represents one line of thrust, but you can have the slats in different positions, showing a different line of thrust. In fact, many lines of thrust are possible within an arch, and it only takes one line to exist for the structure to stand. Changes to a line of thrust can also be shown in this special model with curved edges to the voussoirs. So you've got another arch, but with this difference, you can make it actually wobble just like a jelly. Each voussoir is in a state of equilibrium. The compression forces can only pass through these points of contact, each force being balanced by an equal force in the opposite direction. A line of action of the thrust would pass through the structure like this. Let's concentrate on just one voussoir. At the contact point on its left face, the thrust from the whole arch to the left must be resisted by a force, and there is then an equal and opposite compressive force on the voussoir. There are two other forces at work, one being the weight of the voussoir, the other being the force from the right-hand point of contact, which resists the thrust of the arch up to that point. The voussoir is being held in place, it's in equilibrium, and so these forces must balance each other. You can confirm that forces are in equilibrium if they can form a triangle of forces together. Now, can anybody guess what will happen if I start putting some weights on this? It will change the shape of the arch. That's right. Let's have a look now and see what happens. 500 grams. And here's a kilogram. I don't know if it'll take this. We'll see. Yep, it's taken a kilogram. And now you see we've got a very different shape to the arch. It's gone to a different equilibrium, a different balance. And so is the thrust line. If you apply different loads to the voussoir, then the compressive forces and the directions of the thrust will change to support the variations in the weight. As long as the arch stands, the voussoir remains in equilibrium, even with a large load like this.